Hi everyone, it's Agnes. I've got a success story that's come in from Mariana. So I'm going to read it to you today. Dear Agnes, I wanted to share with you my success story. My world fell apart when my boyfriend broke up with me in September 2017. We were together for three months, which is not a lot, but to me, he was my soulmate since the day we met. We talked about marriage, we talked about kids, etc. He broke up with me using the typical words, I'm not ready, it's not you, you're perfect, I don't know what it is, but I can't be with you anymore. He also told me that he really loved me, but he didn't think that we would ever talk again, not at least for a year. While all of this happened, I cried a lot, but I had a feeling that it would be temporary. I found your channel and I realized how much work I was actually supposed to do on myself. I lacked 100% of the self-love. I admitted that I wanted so much attention and confirmation from him and others that I should have looked for within me. During this period of time, I had tried and failed several times to reach where I am today. So I want people to know that time and failure is needed in order to get better. The first month I did not reach out to him. I focused on doing the 28 days from the book, The Magic, which put me in the more thankful mood. We were no longer friends on social media. We both have only Snapchat. I started doing the receiving a text meditations and out of the blue I received a good morning text with a picture of him on Snapchat. The funny fact is that if you're not friends you can't actually receive them so that was literally impossible. This process took about two weeks of visualization. We chatted a little bit, he came over to my house and we had a good time. For a few months we were continuously on and off I had so much anxiety about seeing him. I truly gave his messages and his attention way too much importance. My friends and society had played a big part in my frustration because he kept telling me that he wants to be with me but that I would have to be patient and everyone else would tell me, oh, he's lying, he's lazy, he's scared of commitment, he wants other women, you deserve a lot better. So I told him all that and pushed him away. One day, I don't know how it came to my mind that if I truly wanted a happy and committed relationship with him, I would have to be patient. When you send a request to the universe, you would want it to be perfect. You would want the universe to take its time, creating circumstances that would improve him as an individual, making him ready, improving me, making me ready as well. I wouldn't want an immediate rush on relationship. God knows what I want and he will create it for me. So every night I would pray and thank the universe for working on my request. I would do the imagination part from Neville before going to sleep and overall I kept a positive feeling that my order was being worked on. I didn't care about the time. I signed up at the gym, I went on trips with friends and during this whole time my relationship with him got better and better to the point that I met his daughter, finally, which is a very big deal for me. Every date that I had with him was never planned by me, like in the past I asked the universe that I wanted to see him and let it do the work and they turned out to be more than perfect. He used to always be busy with work and now that I took that belief out of my head, I get to see him a lot more, even on days that I would never expect. Oh, lovely story. Another very important thing that helped me was a video that you shared a link of where a man was talking about giving a different meaning to events. For the time that he read my messages and did not reply, I would always think, oh well, he might be busy. And I would get a response a few hours or days later. You must completely delete everything society puts in your head, like how men are supposed to treat you. If he does this, that means he's lying. No one is in your shoes and therefore no one can give you advice. And I will put down in the description the video that is being mentioned here from Morty Lefko about Stop Your Suffering. It is very important to keep your creation to yourself and not ask anyone's opinion. Your mind needs to be clear of limitation but full of statements like he loves me more and more each day, he has so much time for me, 
things that helped me through the process were the self-love meditations every night and during my lunch break specifically, the one that has the whispering technique after it works every time. It took about three days for each thing I wanted him to say. Okay, fantastic. I will put the whispering technique down below as well. Uh, where am I? I've lost my place. Uh, the self-love was sending unconditional love with sending unconditional love meditation. I did it every time. I felt anxiety about a particular response to a text or event, revision meditation, every time something didn't happen the way I wanted it to, and it really fixed itself in the very next days. I changed the music I listened to. I listen to a lot of gospel now because they talk about planting the seed, being patient, trust in God or the universe, and receiving what you ask for. And singing about that while going to work brings me positive thoughts and trust. Whenever I feel anxiety or panic about something, it happens rarely now, I just close my eyes and imagine myself in the final situation that I want to be in and I trust it. I can say that the total process took seven months. If I had trusted the universe immediately, it would have taken a lot less time. I was also blessed to never think about the possibility of another woman. I trusted the fact that I am a very special individual that could never be replaced. Ooh, that's a nice little chain of words there, Mariana. If he would have felt the need to date someone else, he still would have ha have come right back to me. Who wouldn't, right? LOL. Sounds cocky, but def confidence is what I have to offer, and it's a must. Now, I couldn't be happier. Our relationship is more perfect than ever, and I'm grateful for him breaking up with me because now I love myself so much. I owe so much to you and your channel, and yes, woohoo! Mariana, that's brilliant. And you mentioned so many of these wonderful techniques that helped you. I didn't keep going on and mentioning them because you had quite a few. So I thought anything Mariana mentioned, I will pop in the description down below. Fabulous, fabulous. And another thing I want to mention today, there is a viewer called Priya. Priya has released a most beautiful song. She sent me a link and I had said to her, look, that's so beautiful. Can I put it under one of my YouTube? So today, Priya, your music video will go down below. And thank you for sending it to me. I love hearing what the viewers are doing creatively, what they're doing to expand in their relationships, doing meaningful work, changing their bodies, doing all sorts of wonderful things to completely get into a more enjoyable satisfying life so yeah that's terrific and lots of love I'll see you in the next one and I hope you enjoyed Mariana's story Mariana thank you very much